always there, and they were doing it. And look at the Asian guys uh, on TV. I mean, recently it's, it's been changing, but we're the dudes that never get the girls. You know, we're the ones that get. Sh you know, we get made fun of. No more Yankee, my Wanky. The Donga need food. I, I don't think we've had figures. Asian males have had figures in TV that make us look so sexy and like cool as fuck. I want my purse back, asshole. It was like Jackie Chan, who was goofy. He definitely wasn't sexy though. And it was like, you know, Jet Li and you know, all the other martial artists do. Like, you know, there aren't people saying that. Like, there, there's nobody saying that shit. Like, there's no bitch like, I want to fuck that Asian dude from Lost. Like, there ain't nobody saying that shit. I mean, it's, it's hard for most, a lot of Latino rappers to cross over. And they have sort of, you know, if, we, again, if we're talking about stereotypes, you know, they have the stereotype of machismo that would follow them around. But that is a hyper-masculine. Yet, you don't see a ton of Puerto Rican or Dominican rappers out there. And you could ask why it is that you don't see more successful South Asian American rappers, for example. And South Asians, I don't, I feel like, don't have that same sort of questioning of masculinity. African American men have that association in terms of they're considered to be the most racially authentic performers. Anyone who doesn't fit into that particular box becomes more, in a sense, suspicious for an audience member. You can't be an Asian rapper talking about busting guns, talking about uh, some gang banging shit. Even if that's your life. I'm throwing signs and you looking cause I gang bang. I'm from a hood where everybody gang yeah. I think it's fake. You know what I'm saying? Like they're just not gonna believe it. If you look at the history of black culture in the US, is that it's a culture of, of a consistent cycles of exploitation and appropriation. So I think that there, because of that troubling history, it's perfectly understandable uh, why one would have a concern around something like hip hop, which has proven to be incredibly lucrative. If you are a young person, regardless of your, of your ethnic or racial background, and you are inspired to want to perform hip hop as a dancer or as a graffiti artist or as an MC or as a DJ, is the logic here, if you're not black, you should just give up on that interest, that it's just not for you, it's not meant for you, you shouldn't be able to do it. That does not seem to me consistent with kind of the spirit of inclusion that hip hop promoted from its inception. But I understand them call you chink, can't understand it, but you recognize hate in the eyes, but it can't see yours, your eyes are slamming. They, they want you to be that karate kicking, orange, civic driving, SAT taking dude in life. A lot of us aren't like that. I'm American at heart, you know? And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's why I'm fighting for hip hop. It's just because I am American. I'm going against the grain. I'm going where I don't, where I'm not accepted.